Hi guys, I'm Michelle here with The Baby Cubby and today we're gonna to be talking about two of our favorite infant car seats, the Epa Baby Mesa and the Nuna Pippa. These are both super popular and they both cost the same, $299.95. So, but they have some features that are really great that we wanna compare for you so you can find the best one for you. First, we're gonna go ahead and compare the bases. That's kind of the meat of any infant car seat because the base is what's really gonna determine whether or not your car seat is gonna be held in really tight. So to remove, both of these remove differently from their base though. The Mesa removes tra the traditional way. So it has this lever in the back that you're gonna pull up and just take the car seat off. The Pippa on the other hand has an extra button on the base that actually releases it. So you're gonna pull up on that and it's gonna come off that way. In terms of car seat bases, both of these are super safe. So what kind of determines the safety of a car seat base is whether or not it has parts of it that will slow down a car accident and how easy it is to install. So the Pippa claims to have a five second install and then the Mesa claims to have a 10 second install. Both of these are super secure, they're super easy. So I'm just gonna show you real quick why they're so easy. The Mesa has your traditional tether latch. So if we take these out right here, you can see it's a tether uh, latch connector, but it ratchets. So you can hear that ratchety sound. Um, what you have to do is you press this orange button that's up here, and then that will release the, the ratchet. You're gonna connect it into your anchors, and you're gonna do that on both sides. And then all you have to do is take this and push down on it until it ratchets down. And there's a little window on here that will turn green, and that means it's in tight enough. With the Mesa, or the Pippa, we have what's called a rigid latch. So rigid latches are a metal bar, and rigid latches are important because in a car accident, they actually prevent twisting. So where a seatbelt or a tether might twist a little bit, a rigid latch won't because it's a bar. So the Pippa actually comes with latch guides where you'll put it in your seat and where your latch anchors are, and you will go ahead and just move this right on into those latch guides and connect them and there's little indicator windows that will turn green. Um, that's a super easy install as well. The extra thing though with the Pippa is that they have what's called a load leg. In a car accident, what will happen, and this happens to any car seat, your seat will be sitting like this and it will continue to move backwards if you get in a car accident. So it can move downwards and it, as much as 20 degrees and that then it will snap back. That snap back is actually what causes head and neck injuries in children. Um, and the Pippa's base actually takes that worry away for you. So they have what's called a load leg. So on the underside of their base, they have this that pops out. And this load leg sits on the bottom of your, of your car seat or of your vehicle. So you can see there's a little green indicator window when it turns green. That means it's securely on the floor of your car. Nuna's made it so that it won't twist side to side and it won't get that recline in a car accident. So both bases are super safe just because they're so easy to install. Um, that is really the determining factor um, with how easy of an install you can get so that you're installing it correctly every time. Um, if you're low, we do recommend though to always install them in your car before purchasing just to make sure you get the right fit. Okay, so now we're gonna talk a little bit more about the actual car seats themselves. So one of the questions we always get is how heavy is the car seat? Uh, it's a great question. Most parents want something on the lighter side, but a good rule of thumb is that the heavier a car seat is, the safer it is. That's because it usually means that it's created from metal and steel and aluminum alloys and everything that um, are used in your car. And that actually means that they'll be safer in a car accident because it will be able to take more force. Um, before anything gets to your child. So the Mesa actually comes in at 9.9 .9 pounds. It is one of the heavier car seats on the market, but again, it's because it's created with a lot of metal in, on the inside, which is what's gonna protect your child. The Pippa is actually the lightest car seat, one of the lightest car seats in its class of infant car seats. Um, it comes in at 7.9 pounds. Now, for the Pippa specifically, we don't say that's a problem just because their base is so intense. So like we showed you, it had that rigid latch and the load leg. Um, and it's, the base itself reduces so much movement that <clears throat> your child's gonna be plenty safe in this car seat, even though it's on the lighter end. 
The Mesa specifically has a no rethread harness, which is great. So all you do is you take the canopy back. There's a little pull tab back here. You just pull up on it and then you can move the headrest up or down. The reason that's important, most parents don't realize that you need to rethread the harness until your child's actually in it. So your harness should always be at or below an inch of your child's shoulders. Um, that's to ensure that they don't experience any like sharp upward movement in a car accident. So no rethread harness is nice because once you have your child in it, you can just pull up on that tab and move the headrest up and down to exactly where you need it to be without removing your child from the car seat. The Pippa has your regular, a regular rethread harness. These are also easy. Again, you just have to take your child out to do it. So you loosen the straps, you undo the tethers from the yoke, take them out, rethread them into the holes that you need, and then put them back on the yoke. And that's all you have to do. Super easy and super fast. You just have to take your child out to do it. So lots of parents ask us when you need to use an infant insert. Uh, it's honestly just to get a snug fit on your child. So you should use it until you can get a snug fit without having it. So the Mesa has a regular infant insert. They do have this nice headrest that will always stay in there. So because the Mesa's headrest is built in, they actually have built in side impact protectors right here. So on either side of these, it's the side impact protector. That just means that um, there's material in here that's going to slow down the car, the force of the accident before it hits your child. Okay, so the Pippa has a regular infant insert as well. It's all one piece instead of two. Lots of car seats have like a separate headrest and a separate body one. But then they have this little birth weight pillow, which is back here in the center. This pillow right here helps you get a snug fit for any child under 11 pounds. So again, the guideline is to only use it until you can get a snug fit without it, with just using the regular infant insert. They recommend no more than 11 pounds for using this, but it just slides right back in here. And you just Velcro it. Um, it's also nice because it helps give your, your newborn a little bit more back support so that their neck is more up like this, rather than like this, uh, which a lot of the parents can get worried about, especially if you drive around a lot. Okay, in terms of weight limits, so this is another big one that uh, new parents always ask us especially. You can usually use them past a year a little bit. Consumer Reports just came out with a study that says to not use it past a year. Um, from their studies that they've done in their crash tests, they've actually found that um, children who are over a year in an infant car seat are more at risk for head injuries. So that being said, <clears throat> both these car seats do have a 32 inch height limit on them. Their head needs to be less or more than an inch below the top of the car seat. So this part of the car seat right here. The Mesa has a little bit higher of a weight limit. You can go from four, as low as four pounds up to 35, and the Nuna Pip goes up to 32 pounds. Okay guys, so we've gotten to all the nitty gritty, so now we're just gonna go over a few of the like fun convenience features that both car seats have. So we already went through the no rethread harness that the Mesa has, which is fantastic. Um, another thing that the Mesa features is this button on top. This is actually for removing it from uh, up a baby strollers and some of the ones that just have adapters. So it's super nice because instead of like having to use two hands to like lift the car seat up and everything, all you have to do is press this button and it will come right off the stroller, which is so nice, especially if you have multiple children. Um, <clears throat> as for the Pippa, the Pippa also features what's called a dream drape. So not only does it have this extra pop-out visor, but it, their canopy unzips to reveal this dream drape that magnetizes down. It's just like a built-in car seat cover. The reason this is important, many parents don't know this, um, is because in a car accident, if you are using an unapproved third-party accessory and something happens to your child, the car seat company can actually claim that you were using their car seat incorrectly. Another nice thing about the Pippa, it has what's called a European belt route. Not many infant car seats feature this anymore, uh, but this is great, especially if you live in like a big city. So instead of having to lug your car seat base around, you can just install it with the European belt route. So if you look on the car seat, there's these blue indicators on the front. This is where you'll thread the lap belt and then you'll take your chest strap and you'll wrap it all the way around the car seat and insert it down into this other blue belt path and tighten it. This is honestly 
one of the only car seats that I personally would feel comfortable installing without a base, just because it's in, it gets in so tight with that European belt route. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go like it down below and then feel free to comment if you have any questions or comments. Uh, you can always email us at hello at babycubby.com as well if you're more comfortable with that. And then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have tons of comparisons, how to's on both of these and other items. And then we'll have fun things like gender reveals going up too. See you soon.